the name I'm going to throw at you, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Is this aimed at me? Oh, yeah. this, I think both of, us, both of us know him well. Well, I, you know, I, I'm a friend of Bobby Kennedy's yep. um, personally, and I think you know, whenever politics, politics changes people, the imperatives of running for office change people's priorities. That's true of everyone who runs for office. Ask anyone who's done it. Um, and so I can't, you know, I cannot assess his presidential campaign, and I won't. I just, I'll just say one thing about him, which is at the height of COVID hysteria, he was right. He was right. And he was right at great personal cost. And I know a lot about this subject because I know a lot about him. And I don't, I'm not sort of at liberty to say all of it, but I mean, that guy suffered in a real way. He suffered more than I would suffer. They targeted his family, like actually his family. And he was absolutely right. And it does make you, you know, I've known him a long time, like 20 years. And I remember when he was, he went from being like, the most famous celebrated guy in democratic politics to being someone whose name could not be mentioned, and it happened in one article where he suggested there was a connection between vaccines and autism. And I think there clearly is a connection, and I think there's a ton of scientific evidence that there's a connection. And you were not allowed to say that in the United States, the land of the free, the home of free speech. You could not say that. You couldn't have a job and say that. And the last thing I'll say is, Whenever there is something that's verboten, you're literally not allowed to say or you'll be punished. That's the thing you probably should consider saying. Because they're not telling you not to say it because it's false. They don't care about lying. They are liars by their nature. They celebrate lies. Men can become women. All oh, right. No. What they hate is the truth. And so if there is an idea or even a phrase that you're literally not allowed to say, pay very close attention to that phrase because at least they think it's true. That's why they won't let you say it. Huh. Okay, did I mention Robert F. Kennedy? Oh yeah, I did, that was your answer. Okay, I gotcha. That was, that was quite a complete and fulsome answer, I would No, say. no, you went everywhere and you, uh, you got your three sentences in. Um, Jordan, a little bit uh, of an odd one for you. Joe Rogan. So, here's two ways that you might judge the character of someone. The first is whether they're the same person on stage and in public as they are in private. Yeah, that's Rogan. Like, what you see is what you get. He's exactly how he portrays himself. And he's, I've been around Joe a fair bit and around him and many other people, and around him and some very, very smart people. And it's hard to be in a room with Joe when he isn't the smartest person in the room. And so he can play long cab, but beneath that, like, macho and genuinely macho exterior, there's a very, very sharp mind. And then the other thing that's great about Joe is he's really, he's got a great comical side, you know? I mean, he's a professional comedian, but he's a wit, and he's extremely playful along with being brave. And that combination of playfulness and bravery, you know, that's a testament. Pra playfulness, bravery, and honesty. That's Rogan. It's not a bloody accident that he's the world's most popular podcaster, you know? And thank God he's the real thing. And so, you know, two thumbs up for Joe Rogan. <laughs> Greta Thornburg. That opens up a whole topic. I feel, I feel bad for Greta. Look, you got to think about this, man. Just think how bloody terrifying it would be if you were a 13-year-old girl I mean, that's terrifying enough, but if you were a 13-year-old girl who was nervous about the future because of every lie that she'd been fed, and you started to become upset about that and to speak out, and then every bloody leader in the Western world kowtowed to you as if you were a prophetess, do you know how destabilizing that would be? How in the world would you ever recover from that? I think that given what she's been through, given the absolute cowardice and betrayal of the leaders who've worshipped at her feet, like she's some sort of sage, that she's remarkably well put together. So that's what I think of Greta Thunberg. Thank you. Imagine using someone like Greta Thunberg for political ends. What a cold, evil person you would have to be. An autistic child. And, and she's going to carry your message? Yeah, it's a pathetic... Global. Well, it's disgusting. Yep. It's, it's abuse of a child. And the people who abetted that, which would include the entire Western news media, ought to be ashamed. They're criminals, in my view. All right, Tucker, I'm going to throw... Change the subject once again. This one's going to be a little more entertaining. Riley Gaines. 
Oh, I love Riley Gaines. Riley Gaines. Who, who is a, doesn't? Well, she's a cool person yeah. too. And my favorite thing about Riley Gaines, I mean, there are a lot of things I love about Riley Gaines, but my favorite thing about Riley Gaines is she's 